Hello and welcome to this video on storing data in DNA. DNA is not that different from binary at a fundamental level. A standardized set of symbols, defined products, and limited means of reading and writing. When you consider the depth of information contained within a single cell compared to a hard drive, optical disk, or tape, the capacity is astounding. For these and other reasons, using DNA as a medium for storage has been discussed for several decades, and was some works published in the early 1960s. Until relatively recently, this was a largely theoretical challenge, but has moved ever closer to not only reality, but feasibility on an industrial scale. To retread old ground, Binary is basically a system where something is on a 1 or off a 0. In the right order and sequence, these two symbols represent numbers. These numbers in turn belong to instructions, and these instructions form programs. DNA is similar. Three nucleotides in sequence form an amino acid. Amino acids form proteins. Proteins form more complex units, and so on. Each of the nucleotides forming a biologically functional version of the 1 and 0 binary system. In context, a large consumer grade hard drive can store between 4 and 16 terabytes of data. A 2012 study stored 5.5 petabytes of data in DNA, a factor between 140 and 344. Until a few years ago, humans had produced 4.4 zettabytes of data, and it's expected that we will be producing four times that every year by 2025. The expectation is that with only a fraction of that coming data, we will be unable to store anything after 2040, as there will be no more silicon that's suitable for chip making available. In the same 2012 study, Use the basic idea that you can associate the sequential order of a genome with binary output. They also highlighted some of the problems with this concept. In particular, they found error reads stemming from repeats of the same base pairs. But the proof of concept was successful overall. In 2015, this technology was used as a basis for a Bitcoin challenge. Success took nearly three years. Nonetheless, the PhD student was successful and earned their reward. In late 2017, this method was used to successfully store and recover music. Much like modern hard drives, error correcting processes have been implemented in the development of this technology, most particularly in 2013. These researchers incorporated an error-correcting method which led to a 99.999% accuracy. To further ensure accuracy, each strand of data was replicated twice in the forward sequence, and then twice in the reverse sequence. This led to four copies being present. None of this technology and science hybridization is cheap. With the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, providing $15.3 million in grants for 2017 alone. This technology begins at $12,400 and fell to $3,500 when recording data. To read, it costs between $2,000 and $200 per megabyte. To copy a single large file is roughly a dollar as the cost to reproduce DNA is relatively low. In theory, an entire database could be copied for less than a cup of coffee. The record for data storage in 2016 sits at roughly 200 megabytes. In 2018, Microsoft began working with the University of Washington to study storage and retrieval of data in DNA but they are not the only ones looking at this new media. An MIT DNA storage company, among other competitors, have begun emerging. This company has a substantial 
ability to create large data banks. They are using a technology that enables them to write a terabyte of data a day. This uses a large number of DNA molecules, as their technology relies on a different approach to those used previously. They plan to roll out this development in the next few years, targeting industrial scale services like IT, government and entertainment. And the advantages of this technology are important for very simple reasons. The world currently relies heavily on large server farms and similar. Cloud storage is a driving force for many devices. Such services require large facilities. And this demand will grow. In contrast, the vast bulk of the world's data could be stored in a single transport truck if using this technology. If this becomes viable on an industrial scale, it is possible that DNA data storage technologies could overtake tape storage methods. There are further details in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions below.